So we're going to look at how to take a blood pressure. First of all, if you want to come in a little bit closer, <laughs> on the cuff on the other side, you'll see arrows here that let you know where to actually apply it onto the patient's arm. So these arrows let you know where the artery is. So over here on the arm, you have the brachial artery that runs down here. So we're doing it on the right arm. So we're looking at the right arm here and we're gonna line that arrow up to the brachial artery along here. Sorry, my hands are cold. <laughs> Now, there is a little, is there? A little what? Thing for the... No, it just looks like Okay. Oh, there it is. You can actually put your uh, gauge in here if you want to, uh, or you can just lay it on the bench, whichever's easiest. So the first thing you have to do is the little wheel here, make sure that's turned all the way to the right. So I don't know if you've ever heard, but there's an expression that says righty tighty lefty loosey. So to the right is completely closed. So we'll get our patient to turn their hand over. We want to feel for the radial pulse. And as I pump this up, I'm going to have a look at the gauge. And do you know what your blood pressure normally is? High? <laughs> What's high? <laughs> no idea. No. Okay. So normal is around about 120 uh, to 130, but I'll pump it up to 160 and see how we go. So we pump it up and when I feel the pulse disappear, that lets me know what the top pressure is going to be. It is high. <laughs> we'll let it down slowly. So I can feel the pulse come in just below 120. So that lets me know that the systolic is probably going to be about 120. Um, so I'm gonna pump up 20 more than that, so up to 140. So again, make sure it's turned all the way to the right. Make sure that your stethoscope's on. Remember that the dual head stethoscope has two directions that it can turn on. So if you just give it a light tap, that'll let you know whether it's on. So that was about 140 on 70. That's so a little bit high. <laughs> so it's always important to tell your patient what the recording is. Um, some patients will know exactly what the numbers mean, some will need a little bit more explanation. But the key things to remember is obviously check the radial pulse first so that you've got an idea of what that top systolic will be, just so you're not over inflating the cuff because there's nothing worse than having uh, the cuff inflated up to 200 it hurts quite a bit so we only want to go as high as necessary so once you've felt the radial pulse and it disappears that lets you know how high to go when you pump up for the actual recording so we always go about 20 millimeters of mercury higher than when that pulse stopped um, and obviously lefty loosey to um, allow a little bit of air to escape just so that that gauge can slowly come down and as you know, systolic is the top one. You'll hear it pulsating down, and when it gets to the diastolic, then it disappears. And that's your blood pressure.